Good day welcome back to our YouTube channel, it's me again Teacher Yang. Before we start our discussion, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more upcoming videos. For today's lesson let's talk about Unit 3, South, Central and West Asian Music. Lesson 1, Music of India for Quarter 3. Objectives. Explain the distinguishing characteristics of representative Central, South Asian and West countries' music in relation to the culture of the area. Perform using available instruments from Central Asia, South Asia and West countries alone and slash or with others. Improvise simple rhythmic slash harmonic accompaniments to music from selected Central, South and West Asian countries. Explore ways of producing sounds on a variety of sources that would simulate instruments being studied. Let's go to India. Capital, New Delhi. Largest city, Mumbai. Official language, Hindi. Demonym, Indian. Currency, Indian rupee, INR. Religion, Hinduism, 79%. India is the largest country in South Asia. Its music is as vast as its geographic location. And as large as its demographic population. The music of India reflects different aspects of Asian culture through its timbre, rhythm, melody, texture, form, and style. Vocal Music India's classical music tradition, includes Carnatic and Hindustani music which have developed over many centuries. Music of India also includes several types of folk and popular music. One aspect of vocal music uses melismatic singing with nasal vocal quality. As compared to the Philippine music which uses melismatic singing only in chanting epics and the Pagean. Singing based on a set of pitches was popular even from the Vedic times. The Samagana style of singing developed into a strong and diverse tradition over several centuries. Becoming an established part of contemporary traditions in India. The hymns in Samaveda, a sacred text, were sung as Samagana and not chanted. Samaveda is the third of the four Vedas of Hinduism but ranks next to Rig Veda, Rigveda, in terms of its sanctity and liturgical importance. Rig Veda is also sung in the Samagana traditional singing style. Because of its liturgical importance, Rigveda is counted as first among the four canonical sacred texts of Hinduism known as Vedas. Rig Veda is an ancient Indian sacred collection of Vedic Sanskrit hymns. Some of its verses are still recited as Hindu prayers at religious functions and other occasions. Characteristics of Traditional Music from India 1. Carnatic Music Refers to music from South India. Directed to a Hindu god, which is why it is called temple music. Unlike Hindustani music, Carnatic music is unified where schools are based on the same ragas. Same solo instruments, Veena, flute, violin, and the same rhythm instrument, Mridanjam and Gatam. Music pieces are mainly set for the voice and with lyrics. Compositions called Kriti are devotional songs. 2. Hindustani music. Goes back to Vedic period times around 1000 BC. Further developed in the 13th and 14th centuries AD with Persian influences and from existing religious and folk music predominantly found in the northern and central regions. Influenced by ancient Hindu musical traditions, historical Vedic religion slash Vedic philosophy, native Indian sounds and enriched by the Persian performance practices of the Mughal era. Nasal singing is observed in their vocal music. In North India, the most common style of singing is called kyal, a word which means imagination. Instrumental music there are many musical instruments in India. Some instruments are used primarily in North Indian music, Hindustani Sanjeet. While many other instruments are used in South Indian music, Carnatic Sanjeet. Instrumental music is often similar to vocal music but sometimes they have distinctive instrumental styles. There are five known traditional system for classification of instruments. Classification of musical instruments from India. Gone described as a non-membranous percussive instrument but with solid resonators. It is one of the oldest class of instrument in India. It may also be a melodic instrument or instruments to keep tall. Gatam is nothing more than a large clay pot. 
It is very commonly played in South Indian classical performances. There are two actions of resonance. The primary one is the ringing of the pot caused by striking. A very low resonance is also produced by the cavity. This pitch is raised or lowered by opening or closing the hole with the stomach. Manjira, Manjira, is a traditional percussion instrument of Bharata India. In its simplest form, it is a pair of small hand cymbals. It is also known as Manjira, Tal, Jalra, Kartal, or Kartal. Kartal are a pair of wooden blocks or frames with small metal jingles mounted in them. They are simply beaten together to provide a rhythmic support to bhajans, curtain, folk and other light music. The term kartal is also applied to wooden claves. Nout, aka nut, is a small pot used in Kashmir as a percussion instrument. It may be thought of as a North Indian gatam. Avanad, described as a membranous percussive instrument. This class of instruments typically comprise the drums. Daf, dap, is a large Persian frame drum used in popular and classical music. The frame is usually made of hardwood with many metal ringlets attached, and the membrane is usually goatskin. A man and a woman playing a daf instrument. Tabla, or tablu, tabla, is a membranophone percussion instrument, similar to bongos Afro-Cuban slash Latin American drum which is often used in Hindustani classical music. It is used in Indian folk music and is a part of Hindustani music art. Bongos The instrument consists of a pair of hand drums of contrasting sizes and timbers. It appears similar to their Afro-Cuban slash Latin American drum-based relatives. The right hand drum is called a tabla and the left hand drum is called a daga or baya. It is claimed that the term tabla is derived from an Arabic word, Tablu, which simply means drum. The doll is a double-sided barrel drum played mostly as an accompanying instrument in regional music forms. In Kwe Lai music, the term doll is used to describe a similar, but smaller drum used with the smaller tabla, as a replacement for the left-hand tabla drum. The doll is played using two wooden sticks, usually made out of bamboo and cane wood. The stick used to play the bass side of the instrument, known as the daga in Punjabi, is thick, roughly about 10 mm in diameter, and is bent in a quarter circular arc on the end that strikes the instrument. The other stick, known as tilai, is much thinner and flexible and used to play the higher note end of the instrument. Someone who plays the doll is known as tholai special expression of face and frequent rotation of whole body is associated with a particular tholai to perform a realistic performance. MRI Danjam is a barrel-shaped double-ended drum, the right head being smaller than the left. It is played with both hands. It is the primary rhythmic accompaniment in a Carnatic music and Nawa music ensemble. The word Mridanjam is sandy or union of the two Sanskrit words Merda, clay or earth, and Anga, body. As early Mridanjam were made of hardened clay. Sushir also known as blown air. It is characterized by the use of air to excite the various resonators. The Bansurai is a transverse flute of India made from a single hollow shaft of bamboo with six or seven finger holes. An ancient musical instrument associated with cowherds and the pastoral tradition. It is intimately linked to the love story of Krishna and Radha and is also depicted in Buddhist paintings from around 100 CE. The word Bansurai originates in the Sanskrit bans bamboo plus sur melody. There are two varieties of bansurai, transverse, and fipple. The fipple flute is usually played in folk music and is held at the lips like a whistle. Because it enables superior control variations and embellishments, the transverse variety is preferred in Indian classical music. The shane, 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 or mangal vadya, is a double reed oboe, common in India. Pakistan, Bangladesh, and Iran, made out of wood with a metal flare bell at the end. Its sound is thought to create and maintain a sense of auspiciousness and sanctity and, as a result, is widely used during marriages, processions, and in temples although it is also played in concerts. Shane is similar to South India's Nadaswaram. This tubular instrument gradually broadens towards the lower end. It usually has between six and nine holes. It employs one set of quadruple reeds, making it a quadruple reed woodwind. 
By controlling the breath, various tunes can be played on it. Shanka is a conch shell which is of ritual and religious importance in both Hinduism and Buddhism. The Shanka is the shell of a species of large predatory sea snail, Turbinella pyram, which lives in the Indian Ocean. Shanka is a conch shell. This instrument has a strong association with the Hindu religion. It is said that when it is blown, it announces the victory of good over evil. This instrument has limited musical applications. The Serpati, also called Swarpethi, Swarpeti, Swarpati, Serpati, Serpeti, Shruti Box or Shruti Box, is an Indian drone instrument. It is a small box whose only function is to provide the drone. There are two, basic forms, one is manual and the other is electronic. 4. Tat referred to as Veena during the old civilization. Instruments in this class are plucked, stringed instruments. Sitar is a plucked stringed instrument used mainly in Hindustani music and Indian classical music. A sitar can have 18, 19, or 20 strings. Six or seven of these are played strings which run over curved, raised frets. And the remainder are sympathetic strings, tarp, also known as tarif or tarif dar, which run underneath the frets and resonate in sympathy with the played strings. The instrument is believed to have been derived from the veena, an ancient Indian instrument, which was modified by a Mughal court musician to conform with the tastes of his Persian patrons and Named after a Persian instrument called the setter, meaning three strings. Ektara, literally one string, also called Ikter Ektar, Yaktaro Gopi Chand, is a one string instrument most often used in traditional music from Bangladesh, India, Egypt, and Pakistan. The Chitravina, also known as Chitravina Chitravina, Chitravina Hanumad Vina, or Mahanataka Vina, is a 20 or 21 string fretless lute in Carnatic music. Around the late 1800s and early 1900s, it started to be known by another name. Gotavadiyam, often misspelt as Gotavadiyam, Gotavadhyam, Kadavadiyam etc. According to ancient classification of Indian stringed instruments, Gotavadiyam is also one type of Veena. Though both of them have resemblance, Gotavadiyam, Chitravina, is unfretted. Whereas Veena is fretted. Veena has got only seven strings. Whereas Gaudavadiyam has nine main strings and twelve sympathetic strings. It is more difficult to gain mastery over this instrument, yet capable of bringing out finer nuances if played by expert hands. Veena is a classical Hindu lute belonging to the family of string musical instruments. It is an ancient musical instrument which is said to have been invented by Narada. One of the seven great rishis, who was also a Veena maestro. The Veena is a plucked string instrument, four feet long, carved and with a hollowed structure made of wood, generally. Jack wood. Rubab, Robab or Rabab is a lute-like musical instrument originating from central Afghanistan. It derives its name from the Arab Rebab which means played with a bow. But in Central Asia the instrument is plucked and is distinctly different in construction. Rabab is a national music instrument of Afghanistan. Vitat described as bowed stringed instruments. This is of the oldest classifications of instruments and yet did not occupy a place in classical Indian music. Until the last few centuries. Srang is a bowed, short neck string instrument from South Asia which is used in Hindustani classical music. It is said to most resemble the sound of the human voice able to imitate vocal ornaments such as gamaks shakes and means sliding movements shakara is a bowed stringed musical instrument from bengal india used to play indian folk music the shakara is a simple spike fiddle played similarly to the saranji or saringa by sliding fingernails on the strings rather than pressing them to touch the fingerboard dot it has three strings two horsehair and one steel s raj also called the indian harp is a string instrument found in two forms throughout the north central and east regions of India. It is a young instrument by Indian terms, being only about 200 years old. The deal ruba is found in the north, where it is used in religious music and light classical songs in the urban areas. S Raj is a combination between Saringa and Sitar. 
The base of the instrument is like saringa while the neck and strings are like sitar. It gives a sound very much like saranji without being as difficult to play. This instrument is often confused with dilruba. Both have a similar construction and technique. The approach to tuning is somewhat similar to the sitar. The S Raj is popular in the Bengal area of India. Banam is a class of folk fiddles found among the Santal people of Northeast India and Bangladesh. The importance of the Banam to the Santals is well represented by the artwork on the instruments. Rhythm plays an important role in Indian music. It is fundamental to the creation of any musical system. Certainly, from a historic standpoint, rhythm existed many centuries ago before the word rag was ever used. Given this historical preeminence, it is not surprising that rhythm occupies an important position in the Indian system of music. Tala, literally meaning clap, variously transliterated as tal, tal, or tala, is a regular, repeating rhythmic phrase, particularly as rendered on a percussive instrument with an ebb and flow of various intonations. Represented as a theka, is the common Indian system of rhythm. Theka, a sequence of drum syllables or ball. In Indian classical music, both Hindustani classical music and Carnatic music use complex rules to create elaborate patterns of rhythm. Tabla, most common instrument for keeping rhythm in Hindustani music. Mridanjam, most common instrument for keeping rhythm in Carnatic music. Also transliterated as Mridane. Let's see how much you have learned. Can you identify the difference of Carnatic from Hindustani music? Can you identify Indian musical instruments? Study the words written in the box. Identify which word fits the description of Carnatic and Hindustani music. Lesson 2, Music of Pakistan for Quarter 3. Let's fly to Pakistan. Capital, Islamabad. Largest city, Karachi. Official language, Urdu. Demonym, Pakistani. Currency, Pakistani rupee, PKR. Religion, Islam, 90.4%. Pakistan. Central Asian music encompasses numerous different musical styles originating from a large number of sources. Though Pakistan is part of South Asia, its western part is considered as extended Central Asia. Pakistan is known for its unique vocals. The distinctive Pakistani sound was formed with multiple influences not only from various parts of South Asia but also includes diverse elements from Central Asia, Persia, Turkey and the Arab world. Vocal Music of Pakistan Pakistan is known for its two vocal styles in singing. 1. Ghazal Are traditional expressions of love, separation, and loneliness. It tells about both the pain of loss of the lover and the beauty of love in spite of that pain. Its structural requirements are more strict than those of most poetic forms traditionally written in English is considered by many to be one of the principal poetic forms the Persian civilization can be sung by both for men and women. 2. Kwaylai The devotional music of the Kishti order. A vibrant musical tradition that stretches back more than 700 years. Originally performed mainly at Sufi shrines throughout the subcontinent and gained mainstream popularity. Instrumental music of Pakistan Punjabi music strengthens the importance of musical instruments in Pakistan. Punjab is a region in South Asia which is divided into West Punjab, Pakistan and East Punjab, India. Bangra, one of the most recognized forms of Punjab, is based on the drum rhythm of Dal. Significant Instruments of Pakistan Individual Activity, Peace, Order and Organize Compare and contrast the vocal-slash-instrumental music of Pakistan from the music of India. Draw this diagram on a sheet of paper and answer. Lesson 3, West Asia, Israel. Capital, 
Jerusalem. Largest city, Jerusalem. Official language, Hebrew, Arabic. Demonym, Israeli. Currency, Shekel, ILS. Religion, Judaism, 74.8%. Israel. In general, music of West Asia is modal. Harmony is not emphasized but rather includes salient features such as melodic complexity and ornamentation. Including one-fourth tones and rigorous rhythmic development. West Asian music is commonly used during Communal worship, in mosque, synagogue and church. Mystic rituals, Sufis, Hasidic. Life passage events, weddings, bar mitzvahs, bat mitzvahs, anniversaries. Entertainment, belly dancing, folk dancing. Vocal music of Israel and Arabia. Israeli music. Israeli singers have distinctive vocal style. They sing with guttural and throaty enunciation. Two divisions of Jewish music. 1. Devotional. Almost entirely vocal. Featured during Sabbath and other holy days. The art of Hazen, leader of prayer in synagogue has always been evident in the culture. Shofar is a special call to prayer and repentance. It is sounded on the High Holidays, the Jewish New Year and Day of Atonement. 2. Secular. Instruments and voice are used. Played during life passage events. Context lies outside the religious domain. Very rhythmic and have popular and romantic texts. Arabic music. Arabic maqam is distinctively unique to Arabian music because of its technique of improvisation. It is the system of melodic modes used in traditional Arab music. Arabian rhythmic pattern or cycle is analyzed by means of rhythmic units. Waz literally means measure. Performed on the goblet drum, frame drum, and kettle drum. Only used in musical genres with a fixed rhythmic temporal organization including recurring measures, motifs, and pulse. 2. Ika. The rhythmic pattern in Arabian music. Reputed to be over 100 Ika, but many of them have fallen out of fashion and are rarely used in performance. The greatest varieties of Ika, or Ika at as pronounced, range from 2 to 48 beats. Are used in the Muwasha Ha an Andalusian musical form, where every syllable of the lyric must fall on a beat. Instrumental music of Israel The lute such as the Philippine Banduria and Laud traces its origins from the Middle Eastern Ud and Indian sitar. Goblet drum, darbuk, the tambourine and other instruments associated with Middle Eastern music are used as accompaniment. One of the dances where accompaniment is used is hora. A dance that often has strong offbeats and asymmetric meters. Significant Instruments of Israel Other Significant Instruments of Arab Countries Wow! Asia is truly rich in its culture. It's time to see if you remember what you have learned. Word search in the Middle Earth Search for the terms used in vocal and instrumental music of West Asia. In circle slash highlight the words that you found. That's all, thank you for watching have a nice day.